Hey guys, this is Fanatical for you here. In this video I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna win this ETR1 podium car. After the win we're gonna customize the car and we'll do a quick test drive as well. So first of all I'm gonna show you which car exactly it is. It's on Legendary Motorsports website. We go highest price is this one here, Emperor ETR1. That is the car. Now the first tip is probably pretty obvious. You want to set your character's last spawn location to either Casino Penthouse or last location if you do not own the Casino Penthouse. Once you've done that, you have to go into Interaction menu, set the spawn location, last location, then we go up to Style and we will swap an outfit. But guys, if you don't have an outfit, you can go to Accessories, maybe you have some glasses or hat you don't you can buy them cheaply less than a thousand bucks let's say we'll swap to these glasses or these so you back out and as you can see top bottom right corner we have the orange wheel going there that means the game is saving so now our location has been set to right here outside the casino so because we will have to restart and spin probably multiple times that's going to save a lot of time. Now guys, the next important thing is you have to spin on a fresh lucky wheel, just like the one you see behind me here. You see the top arrow is pointing at clothing, the vehicle is pointing at 11 o'clock. You see anything other than this, you can go to invite only session and you will have a fresh lucky wheel. There's a chance you'll have one in public session as well, but if someone else has just spanned the wheel and some of these in the casino, you might not have a fresh lucky wheel, so just be aware of that. Now the next important thing is how to get unlimited spins on a lucky wheel, because most likely it will take you multiple spins to win the card, so what you want to do is you have to force quit the game or unplug the internet cable if you see that the podium wheel will not stop on the podium card. So before it completely stops, just unplug the internet cable and then your character will be thrown into story mode from where you just load back online. You don't have to restart the whole game. But if you're on Wi-Fi, then obviously the only thing you can basically do is force quit the game. And lastly, now, when to spin. It's basically how I'm doing it. I'm spinning at 4 seconds and counting out loud because that helps me with the timing. You can... Uh, Use a timer on your phone as well, that might help some people, but just be aware that you have to spin a bit earlier before you see 4 seconds on the phone. And the way how to count, sometimes counting like 1 Mississippi, 2 Mississippi, 3 Mississippi, 4 Mississippi helps people. It doesn't have to be like Mississippi, you can count like 1 banana, 2 bananas, 3 bananas, 4 bananas. So all it has to be is has to be at 4 seconds. So now my last tip is only for console players. There's two methods how to move the analog stick to initiate the spin. The first method is 9 to 6 counterclockwise analog stick movement and the second method which is my favorite is just move the stick straight down to 6 and that's all. That's all the tips I can think of. If you have any questions comment down below. Let's jump into the spin, then let's customize the car and do a quick test drive. And in the meantime, maybe you can drop a like, subscribe if you're new. Let's go! One, two, four. Nice two million car. Front bumpers. Okay, not many. Three types. I yeah, will take the one with the intercooler. Rear bumper. Wow. Okay. Not much you can add, just a hook. <laughs> okay. I expected kind of more upgrades. Okay. Acceleration. That should improve. Ghost. Titanium. Oh, okay. Right, it's from the side. Yep. Also, only one. Food. Only carbon. Not sure about that yet. Oh, 
Oh no, spoiler style. What style? <laughs> that looks bad. Talk is massive. Massive spoiler. Actually, keep it stock. Transmission, yes. Turbo, yes. Wheels. Now, the new ones. Check the new ones. I think these kind of look good. Go with these. Right, so that's the car fully customized. Oh, <laughs> that looks interesting, that logo going all around. Let's see if the speed is improved now. Doesn't pick up too fast. Still on the slow end, yeah. Yeah, well, it's still not fast, I would say. Not fast, definitely in my books not worth 2 million. If you, if you can win it, go for it. Customization options are not that many. Bumpers, there's like two, three bumpers. Oh yeah, can't, you can't customize it that much, but they already comes with like a body kit. Already looks kind of decent. How does it look from inside? Oh, nice. Does look nice. Proper race car. Hey guys, so my final thoughts on the car, I would not pay 2 million for it, I would probably give it a 6 or 7, probably more like 6. Yeah, it's not that fast, simply the speed, it's lacking speed. Anyways guys, drop a like, subscribe if you're new to the channel, sometimes I do live streams as well, so if that's something you're interested to, then check, check my channel out. I'm also on Discord, Twitter, Instagram and all them socials so you can just check the links in the description and see you in the next one bye